Howdy y'all, got the Bulldog on the channel. Uh, it's, once again, we're dealing with something that... Why? I mean, really. Why? Once I f saw it, and I thought, uh... 4.30. We better find out if they got this part. Or at least get it ordered for tomorrow. Maybe. It was. It's to the end of the day. This one's actually scheduled for tomorrow. But. I, I mean, we expected something different. What we got is a Nissan Armada. And he has no heat. And being being December, he'd like to have heat. Uh, we're not uh, in Florida at the moment. Uh, get it in here, I pop the hood, and I'm seeing, oh shoot, it's got rear heat and air, and it's teed off right at the firewall, so there's no way to flush the heater core and the front heat separately okay gosh dang it and then I see this box up here on the front huh now they dropped the thing off about 45 minutes ago the engine was still warm okay we fire it up and let's sit there and run and I'm checking this part here and I've got heat on one side and it's cold on the other let me show you what I'm looking at That is a heater shut off. What they use that for is to shut the heat off going inside when you have the max air on. Well, at some point, it has failed. They used to be a vacuum operated apparatus that you know, they run a vacuum hose through the firewall out here to it, and it had a little valve and it. Near, near. Well, now this is better because that assembly I've put on maybe three times in 30 years. Uh, that thing there is going to be fun. Now, I it had screws in it. I took the cover off and this cover right here. I took that off and I had my boss get in there and turn it on and cycle all the modes. And this little gear down here was just losing its mind spinning and nothing was happening. So we've got stripped gears. Uh, this shaft is stripped on the gear right there. This gear up here is not looking too great. progress. Why have something that works good when you can make it electric? Your heater modes and everything inside have gone to the same style of electric actuator. Now, I'll give you a clue. If you get in your vehicle and you start it up and you hear pop, 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 shut it off and it's still sitting there going pop, 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 pop. That's probably one of these freaky little things they use it to move the doors inside and that gear right there will start to slip. Now there's no sensors inside of it for it to tell itself where it is. So what it has is it's computerized the computer is measuring the amount of amperage going to that motor. When the amps spike up, it knows that it's hit the end of its travel and it shuts it off. And every time you start it, it wants everything to stay free, so it will run it all the way one way, spike it, run it all the way the other way, spike it, and now it knows where everything is. It, it'll do that every time you start the vehicle. Well, when the gear wears out or it get, breaks a 
breaks the tooth off of the gear, or since it's plastic, it gets warped. Why would it get warped? It's not like it runs through any heat. But it will start to slip. And since it's slipping, it can't see the amperage spike. So it'll just sit there, pop, 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 pop. I don't build them. I don't buy them. I don't build them. I don't break them. I just fix them. It doesn't cost very much. Not comparatively, it's not four figures. And amazingly, they had one in stock. Wow. So, we'll have it fixed tomorrow, before Christmas, just like he wanted. It's going to cost more than he thought, but at least it'll be fixed. Like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification, share it all around. Talk to you later.